Welcome back, 0k fans! Another exhibition match. It's gonna be Lowry and Rymark on in Cult of Wet. Which is the next couple matches, actually, because I do want to show off this map. Well, not so much this map, but apparently there's a few good C games that have been played. I figured, why not look at those? Because they can be good. They can be fun to watch. They can cause weird issues with the map extension widget, though, and the water. I don't know why it... Yeah, the water plane gets messed up sometimes. So I apologize. It will look a little weird at the edges. Not much I can do about that. Anyway, let's get started. So, Lowry starting out with ships, going for a quick skeeter. While at the same time, Rymark also going for a very quick skeeter with ships. Not much to say about that. I mean, Rymark is going to be going for skeeter to snake. While Lowry starting out with pretty quick snakes. So, for those of you not too familiar, skeeters are kind of the basic raider boat. They disarm. The main missiles just disarm with a bit of damage on it. While snakes, on the other hand, slow while dealing damage. It's a rather neat little thing that the opening C units do have status effects as part of their base damage and everything. While well, Rymark is going from there just to pretty much pure snakes. I think only that one snake, actually. They haven't built any more yet. Well, it looks like there are... Okay, snakes and skeeters. So yeah, Lowry and Rymark, not really too much different in their opening builds. Though Rymark, I think, might not... I think they mentioned something in the chat... In the, not chat, but the little forum posts under the battle that they weren't totally familiar with the way that the new C factory worked. But yeah, that is... That's the way that's set up. Well, Loudon, on the other hand, is much more familiar with it. And actually, a hunter very quickly on for Rymark. Riot Boat, primarily used for dealing with underwater units, but it can... Well, I mean, it's effective against everything, but it's primarily for dealing with the snakes. Like, overall, snakes beat Skeeters. Skeeters kind of beat Hunters. And there's also Typhoons, which haven't been built yet. Which are really just generally good for dealing with above water. That gets rid of Skeeters, no problem. And Snakes get rid of Skeeters as well, decently well, while Hunters get rid of Snakes and get rid of... Well, Skeeters mostly get rid of the Hunters. That's kind of the counter triangle. It's not quite that straightforward. But yeah, Hunters cannot really deal with Snakes. That is one important thing. Hunters can deal with torpedo launchers to an extent, but not very well. So that gives Rymark very few options at this point, and Rymark... Sorry, well, wait. Rymark's going for a Mariner, my mistake. This is Lowry going for a Hunter. Oops, got that mixed up. I don't know how I got that mixed up, but yes, got that mixed up a bit. Lowry is the one going for a Hunter. Rymark going for Mariner instead. Mariner into more Skeeters. I think they're trying to play this like they would a Cloakie Factory match, which is... Build a lot of glaives and then work from there because Skeeters are kind of the raiders, but that doesn't quite work out because snakes are also kind of the raiders. Snakes and Skeeters both operate as raiders in this matchup. And that will be what Rymark needs to build more of, and that is what Lowry's building more of too. Lowry's also building more hunters to get rid of the snakes. Definitely a good thing to do. And these Skeeters will probably do a decent job against the hunters, but with the snakes nearby, it's going to be tricky. The snake needs to just come in, and it is going to deal a bit of damage. Right now, there is this one... There is this. There is the Nurchin here. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Not that big of a problem, though, because the snake is able to get around and hit one of the metal extractors for free. And actually has a Mariner pretty much right next to it, too. Looks like it's just going to go straight for this metal extractor, which means that this Urchin is going to get it. That Urchin is going to be a problem. Snakes do not beat Urchins. They used to be able to pretty much beat them, and now they can't, and that one goes right down into the water. Very, very convincingly destroyed. Now, Rymark, how many how many Skeeters do they have? Okay, Rymark does have a Hunter. I was not mistaken. Rymark did, in fact, build a Hunter, and now has about seven Skeeters, which is way too many. While at the same time, Lowry does have their first Hunter up, and... Where is it? First? No, second Hunter. My mistake. Yeah, they have two Hunters, while Rymark has the one. Yeah, that's not going to work out especially well, unfortunately, for any yeah, eyes. Ophelius kind of has a point that the snake against the Mariner. The Mariner can't can build static defenses. It can't win on its own, but it can build static defenses, and it is fairly tough. But, yeah, let me think. Okay, so the DPS that Ophelius is bringing up, I don't know offhand, actually. Let's see. The snake DPS is 47. Okay, yeah, that would be a while. Yeah, 47 on 1400 health. That would take about half a minute. So yeah, there would be it'd be pretty easy to get defensive forces in there once defensive forces have been built and basically stop that from being a problem at all. So I can totally see what they're talking about there. And Rymark 
having well, hunter on hunter fight, but Reimark having the one hunter and not really able to dodge Lowry's hunter shots. That's not working out especially well for Reimark, unfortunately, and there's nothing... The Skeeters here are not helping! This is where the Skeeters would come in really handy! Perfect time for the Skeeters, and there they are finally moving in, but unfortunately, Reimark losing their one hunter at this point. And Reimark switching very quickly to Crusader. Crusader of all things, that is going to be a very risky switch. If Lowry goes Heavy Snake... Actually, I don't know Heavy Snake. Heavy Typhoon will definitely do the trick. Crusaders, I think, can hit... Yeah, they can hit subs, so Snake would be a bad idea. But Typhoons would not be a bad idea. And even with the Disarm, those Skeeters don't do a great job, given that Lotus is right there. Lotus and Urchin, really not the best position. Nearly killed the Hunters, though. Very nearly killed them. It's a close run thing. Yeah, the Crusader is going to be of quite a bit of use. Really depends on what Lowry builds up to counter it, because that Crusader will not really be able to hit anything that's moving. It'll be able to hit the Static Defense, get rid of that pretty easily. If it gets near the Factory, that's going to be huge. It's going to be massive if it does that, but the Typhoon is going to be a problem, Hunters will be a small problem, Skeeters would actually be a fairly meaningful problem. If they came up, but I don't think they will. loudry has gone pretty heavily for Typhoon and for Hunter. Yeah, it's just going to be tough for the Crusader to actually kill anything. But yeah, with the right support units, I could see this Crusader working out very nicely. It's like a cool look at. Though it does have the Builder Stripes. I didn't really notice that. The Crusader has little stripes you see on the Builders that indicates that they are Builders, which is a little bit odd. But I digress. The point is, that Crusader is going to be able to deal a lot of damage to the static structures. Not going to be able to hit these units too effectively, though. And Lowry going in for a pretty strong attack. Rymar coming in with one of their Hunters as well to try to deal with this, but Rymar doesn't have much. Yeah, they really haven't got much at all. The Crusader is... Pretty much their biggest asset at the moment. And it's going north, trying to deal with this defensive structure right here, or defensive setup right here, where Loudy has set up a lot of tidal generators, has their commander. Not that the commander matters a whole lot. I think the depth charges will get them, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they will, actually. While at the same time, Loudy going around the other side to the south, sending a lot of the forces here to destroy this entire area, and there are three urchins. That's actually pretty important, and the units start to get into urchin range. This hunter is dead. This hunter here is not quite dead yet, but this is... Yeah, this one's dead. There comes the death torpedo. No, not quite the death torpedo. 11 health left. Down goes that hunter, but at the same time, Crusader is coming in. Can't really deal with Lowry's hunters, but can deal with Lowry's base, although it looks like... No, they can't deal with Lowry's hunters. No point. Crusaders do not fire quickly enough. That is not the way to go. However, even with the urchins... Lowry does get rid of Rymark's entire southern expansion. That is a huge deal. I know I say that a lot, but yeah, it's... This is a lot of damage here, but Snake's coming in to counter it. We'll get rid of the Typhoons, no problem. A Hunter will be a small problem, but only a small one. Honestly, one Hunter against five Snakes. That will go in the Snake's favor, and the Snakes are able to defend decently well. However, that was a big loss, and these Crusaders really are not in the best position. Like I said before, it's... I mean, they are able to get some lucky hits from time to time. The Hunter, if it's not trying to move around... Not trying to kite, will get hit, and actually does get killed! So the Crusaders now have free reign to get in! These snakes will not deal any damage to them. And down goes that last Typhoon over in the southwest side of the map, and the snakes going in for an attack. Snakes and Typhoons from Rhyme are going to the south to deal with all this stuff to the south, while the Crusaders go to the north, get into the expansion that Lowry's commander has been building up, and this expansion is a... Well, let's see. It is about 4 metal and... How much energy right now? That's just quite a lot. That is 24 energy. At least at the moment, but tidal generators are pretty stable. So this Crusader just needs to basically sit around here, deal with all these units, deal with all these buildings. Though enough snakes coming in that the Crusaders are going to have a hard time with this. But they have to get out of there, and one of the Crusaders goes down right away, and the other Crusader goes down pretty soon after. Gets rid of one snake. Actually, two snakes. But even with that, and the Hunter trying to help, but even with that, all the snakes are doing a wonderful job. Lowry actually switching over to Air Factory as well, having just gotten that... And also switching over pretty heavily to snakes while Rymark leaving their shipyard idle. What are they doing? Why are they? I think they just forgot to go an infinite build. They're focusing a lot on rebuilding everything down here, but they aren't focusing on getting rid of these snakes or building units to actually get rid of the snakes. There are some hunters here, but even then, that's not a huge amount. Having lost those crusaders, that is a that's a pretty massive blow. So the typhoons over to the southeast are dealing with everything that Rymark, sorry, everything that Lowry has built up. Rymark doing a great job dealing with that. As, l as long as this 
Okay, the urchin's down. I was gonna say, as long as the urchin goes down, we're good. And there goes the urchin. There goes pretty much the entire south expansion. Rymar getting rid of a lot here. So Rymar at least managing to get some revenge. Managing to pull Lowry back as well. These snakes being forced back. Some of them are still going forward, but most of them being forced back. And yeah, Rymark has been leaving this idol, now finally building up again, going back to Crusaders. But still, that was not necessary. They could have been building ships this entire time, and they are accessing, as Orphelius has pointed out. But yeah, that is... That is a big problem, and yeah, Orphelius pointing out the slow. That is... That is one of the reasons why there is a power in the snakes. It's also one of the nice things about the status effects, is that it does mean that in the large numbers the snakes can do pretty well, as can the Skeeters. There's a bit more to worry about than just damage. Makes it a bit more interesting. Not sure how it quite makes the balance work, but it definitely is interesting. As Rymark, by the way, is the one who is working on the sea balance project. Like, primarily Rymark. Obviously, the core developers are over overseeing it, particularly Google Frog. But yeah, Rymark is the one who's really putting in a lot of work, trying to make sea balance, trying to make it work. So this is largely a test game for Rymark, trying to figure out what it is that needs to be done. I mean, at the very least, sea is interesting. And C has been interesting for a while. We've seen more C games beforehand. We saw some, I think, during the 2v2 tournament. Yeah, that's right. We saw some during the 2v2 tournament. That was pretty nice. Google Frog and Aquanum actually working together in that one. Rather than fighting, as in the last game. But yet, Lowry is getting pushed back pretty consistently. The Rymark and Lowry both very high on metal. This map is really good for getting a lot of metal in. And because of the fact that the title generators are consistent, and they're pretty much always 1.2 metal... Or, sorry, 1.2 energy each. They're fairly consistent... And that does mean that from there it's pretty easy to just get this nice line that then works for overdrive. And you just build a few fusion plants as Rymark is indeed doing. And Lowry, on the other hand, has... Wow, how many care... That's a lot of caretakers there. Nine caretakers already. There's no reason not to have that, actually. And Lowry is... Lowry with the air units doing quite a bit of damage and nothing coming in to really deal with that. Okay, never mind. There is a shredder coming in at some point. There's a shredder coming in around... Wait, is there a shredder? Yeah, here it is. It's two down. So Typhoon, then Crusader, then Shredder. While Rymark, on the other hand, splitting between air and ground and getting an Enforcer up. Pretty much endgame unit right there. Although we have seen Enforcers fall apart to a bunch of ski... Actually, no, it wasn't a bunch of ski... I think it was a bunch of daggers before. But so far, we haven't actually seen any other sea factories. It's just been the shipyard. No hovercrafts, no amphibious bots, nothing. Just shipyard. But at this point, there are two enforcers. One on the ground and... Or sorry, one out of the factory, I should say. <laughs> on the ground, metaphorically speaking. And one in the factory just being built up. Well, Rymark, on the other hand, still focusing pretty heavily on the Hunter, Typhoon, and Crusader combo. With the Shredders just for a little extra bit of anti-bomber. That has been their entire focus, building more mariners as well, just to try to keep going, although Rymark not expanding much. The southwest completely blockaded right now by Lowry. I mean, this can be removed pretty easily, but yeah, that is kind of intimidating. Lowry, however, has taken most of the map. And pointing at, yeah, halberds would be a nice thing to have, just to get through pretty much all these urchins, just to scout out even. And if not for that, at least to get rid of these bombers, or rather to stop them from doing anything. Because they'd hit the Halberds, and the Halberds would be closed up, so the Halberds wouldn't actually take much damage. However, that is where the Shredder comes in, and we're going to see how that works out. And the answer is quite well. Apparently, they are Razors on the water. Good to know. And much like their namesake, they do, in fact, cut very deep. Ex what are you talking about? Excess. Seriously, like, I don't know what you're talking about with excess. The energy is excessing, yes. And actually, I should probably drop down the font size a bit so we can see 13k army for Lowry. But there's not really any metal excess. There's energy excess, but that's fine. That's perfectly reasonable. Metal, however, not so much, but... Wow, nice. Well, there goes two Mariners right in the middle of the map. And these Typhoons just coming in strong, but that's where the Enforcers come in to stop them. Because the Enforcers, unlike the Crusaders, can actually hit moving units. And can hit them quite effectively. And in come the Swifts, which have been considered to be overpowered recently... However, the Shredders cannot do much. Swifts try and Swifts were damaged, but they just moved too quickly. Now, what I mentioned about units not being able to dodge it, Enforcers are probably a bit too slow for that. But yeah, like I said before, the last time I saw Enforcers used, they were countered pretty heavily by Skeeter and Dagger. 
But like I said, no hovercraft, no other factories. These snakes coming in, and if they go down, Reimer can easily expand to the southwest. But right now, Lowry has most of the south side of the map, and the north side, just basically where the Crusaders are attacking. Trying to get rid of this Enforcer, which is not going to be easy. But it is going to be easier than pretty much anything else they could possibly target. Although even then, with the Enforcer moving, it's... Well, never mind, because there is a Counter Enforcer coming in, and that gets rid of Lowry's current Enforcer, except this one over here. There is a enfor couple Enforcers over here. Oops. Yeah, there's two Enforcers over here, and a few for Rymark. It's pretty even there, though. This game actually has been remarkably even. But even then, the Enforcers trying to get rid of some of the Swifts, not doing a great job, unfortunately, and no Shredders to be found around here. Sorry, there is one near the base, that's about it. Actually, how many Shredders are there? There are two. They have just popped out of the factory, and that is all that Rymark has at the moment. Rymark is being pushed back, mostly by the air units. They're doing a decent job getting rid of the air units, but even then, it's not enough. And what the heck is that? Okay, I'm not sure what that missile was. That didn't look like an Enforcer missile, but it certainly did some weird stuff there. So it might actually have been an Enforcer missile right there. For a second, I thought someone had built a missile silo on the water and was working from that. But no, that was not the case. I seriously doubt a missile silo will be built in this game. That's just not likely. Lowry is going pretty strong. I mean, they have twice the army value of Rymark at this point. Most of it being enforcers, but that's a lot of enforcers. Rymark has one enforcer, and Lowry has about f seven. At the same time, though, Rymark going over the north side, trying to just get rid of all the stuff with hunters. Not only the best bet. Typhoons would be a much better option there. I mean, the snakes would have a harder time harassing the hunters, that's for sure, but Typhoons would just deal the damage faster. And down goes another Enforcer from Rymark. More and more units from Rymark just going down, and not a whole lot being set up to get rid of these snakes. No real snakes of their own, no... Well, there are the hunters, but the hunters are getting torn apart by the Enforcers, and by other hunters. Yeah, getting rid of the snakes not working out too well, I'm afraid. And the Enforcer is about to go down once again. Yet another Enforcer going down. At this point, Rymark pretty much being forced back. Unless they get a really good type counter in here, which I guess would be enough Crusaders or Hunters to get rid of the Snakes. There's not much they can do. They've they've just sort of slowly but surely lost the game. And in comes the Singularity Reactor, because why not? Lowry decides just to go get that. Well, that is pretty much going to be game, and Lowry does have more metal, my goodness. How much metal does Lowry have? Lowry has somewhere in the 95-ish metal. 108 metal, yeah, that's... I never have to turn the font size that low just to see their metal. I hope this comes up in the stream just fine, because I can't really do much about this. This is just how much metal there is. And yet, Lowry, with those snakes, all those snakes, all those swifts, nothing really countering them outright in any quick way. The Crusaders have been doing a good job keeping Rymark alive, as Orphilus has pointed out, but not good enough. And in come the Enforcers, in come the Hunters, in come the death of Rymark. Or in comes, rather, the death of Rymark. In the form of 28, 28 snakes? Really? Okay, most of them are over to the northeast, but yeah, at least 20 snakes over near Rymark's base. I mean, this, there's 13 right here, and another 18, yeah, 18 right here, right by Rymark's base. Mass Snakes, that is the raider of this matchup. Although it is possible for Skeeter to do a pretty good job, they're kind of more counter-heavy. Or anti-heavy. Yeah, that was that game. So that was the first game. There's going to be another game in Inculta, once again between these two, and that will be up in just a moment. Stay tuned for that. Hopefully this one wasn't was fairly interesting. I mean, it was C versus C. The next one is going to be Amphibious. Amph versus Amph. Stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple seconds. Well, longer than that. More like a minute. 